Hey everybody, this is Offmaster at and Define Pride, and we are showing off the new god, which, by the way, uh, for his basic attacks, Demonic Grip and Telekines does proc. We tested that real quick, but other than that, none of us have played this god, except for that quick jungle practice we did. Now, I have never, ever, ever downloaded PTS, maybe like once. I'm sure, certainly have never downloaded it on the same day a god has come out. That goes to show how excited I am for this god. Look at him, he's as big as the Titan. Holy moly. All right, Andrew, you ready? Yeah. I don't know, let's start to get on him. I'm getting hunters, Bussy. I don't know about you, buddy. Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> Forgot about that. Holy moly, that's busted. So like, <laughs> I guess Aegis is good on him? I don't know. Dude, he's so big, he's taller than the Phoenix. Dude, he's taller than Titan, dude. Too, too big for Smite. Dude, guys. So his base attack is basically like this flame that the longer you use it, the slower it attacks until it's basically attacking like really slow. But if you save it, then it's really good. Holy moly, you look like Gyarados. Dude. So his one is like these noxious, noxious fumes. And they were- Oh, you can't three. cancel out of his three. Oh yeah, I can. Oh. Yeah, I can. Wow. Uh oh. Oh, somebody's in trouble, uh -oh. buddy. Somebody's getting hunter blessing. <gasps> I bought bracer. I didn't heal. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't heal, dude. I he's so big. It's hard to tell what his health is. Yeah. <laughs> he's so big. Dude, it didn't proc my bracer. Guys, just got absorbed. I'm in. I'm a Jorm main. Ymir, Ymir is no more. Okay, so let me try and explain his abilities. His one is like this little pool you can place down. Does a little bit of damage. Lasts for 20 seconds. Pretty good. His two is like this tremble ability, and it does more damage and is larger the more pools you have around you. You have to be like right next to ow, him. Ow, 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 ow. And his three is this submerge ability that gives you vision, and you can like pop out. And it, uh, it actually, I don't know. It actually knocks up, but um. Oh, my two is about to go off. You're, you're about to be done. I think you max with two first. Yeah, you go two first, definitely. And it's, yeah, but, oh man, there's so much to explain about this god. I'm having a hard time. His ultimate, his passive is that he can't be knocked up or displaced in any way. If he is knocked up or displaced, he slows for 20 seconds. And dang, his base tech clears like really fast. And he takes increased uh, damage. Also, his base attacks get like are faster the more attack speed he has. Surprise, surprise. Dude, his his basics clear the archers. What the? Yeah. <laughs> this is busted for a guardian. I think they're gonna nerf. They're gonna fix they're it. They're gonna, gonna make it like it. Fafnir autos. Yeah, they're gonna make it so auto attack items can't work. That'll make me sad. Okay, their range is pretty far. It is. Up. Dude, I'm out, boy! I'm out with my ultimate! Do not chase me! Do not chase me! <laughs> Dude, what the heck? That didn't damage me. Oh, I almost got you. <laughs> Dude, that, that ultimate feels so good! That's such a cool ultimate! Holy moly! It's very easy to trace somebody, too. Yeah. Does he get movement speed in three? Yeah, he does. This god is so fun. I see you, boy. His ult's on long cooldown. I kind of expected that. Like a really long cooldown. Honestly, his base attacks clear way faster than his abilities. That sounds yeah. like a problem. <laughs> Imagine him at level one in Conquest with Hunter's Blessing. Doesn't that oh shit, what? I fucked up. What'd you do? Oh, well. I accidentally bought... <laughs> I meant to buy Bancrofts, but I accidentally bought Enchanted Trinkets. He clears the wave in two seconds with just his base tax. <laughs> At level six. This guy's so busted. In a Jar main, it seems whoever uses their abilities first loses. Oh shoot, I was in your range. You have Bancrofts, so I don't! Oh, no. 
Does he heal off his two? He should. Honestly, yes! oh. his auto attacks do more damage than his abilities. Yeah. That seems seems strange. His two is really wacky. The bonus damage isn't even that much. If you look at it. The bonus damage is actually very little. So his stealth is broken if he takes damage, by the way, guys. Interestingly enough. He has submerge damage also. Interesting. Yeah. And emerge damage and crash damage. So when he emerges, crashes, and, you know, climbs on someone. I wonder if he can hit someone with all of them. Dang, you're ahead of me by so much. The greatest victories are forged in you're ahead of me by a thousand gold. How are you like... Oh, because you got a chalice. Got it. I'm getting destroyed, man. Your middle tower I mean, it's a mirror match, so it's like... Obviously, one of us is gonna... Is gonna get ahead and then... Destroy. Plus, I think it took me longer to get understand his abilities. He's as tall as a tower. That's insane. Or almost as a tall. It seems like the two, you only get the bonus damage if you're in range of it when you cast the ability, not when you... Yeah. Not when you, you're... While you're casting it. Yeah, you have to be in the range of the clouds when you do it. Got it. It's not delayed. I think this goes over walls, too. Okay, so no defense, right? Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, you only had one left. I could have probably went on you, to be honest. Dread. I assumed only mortals felt such a thing. Dude. This is so cool. You're dead. Oh, no. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh no, yeah, I'm dead now. Dude, you're so fast! Oh, Holy moly! Remember, you get knocked up when you emerge from the invisibility, so you're getting dazed. Yeah. Wait, I get knocked up when I emerge? Yeah. Well, no, when when I emerge out of my stealth, you get yeah, knocked yeah, yeah. up, but instead you yeah. get dazed, so you take extra damage. Yeah, I know that. Dude, this is insane. I'm so far behind. Let me catch up a little bit. Let me catch up a little bit. So that, so that's bad. Otherwise, I'm just going to be continue losing the entire match. Mm. I, we'll say that you already won, but I just want to make it a little okay. bit more even. Let me catch up with time. All right. You've already best bested me in this Jorm there. I'm not. I'm a Jorm main. Oh, by the way, I, I got to show the animation for the clap and stuff. Did I get the voice pack? Awesome. No, I didn't. Rip. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll show that later. Look at the clap, you guys. Wait. Oh, I don't have that either. No! Okay. I'll get that after the game editing or something. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Let me catch up a little bit. You're, you're three levels ahead. I just wanted to be a little bit more you. You've already bested me. Are you ulti? No. <laughs> oh my god! That is so terrifying! <laughs> Dude, what the heck? Oh shoot, I walked into the pool! That's so scary! <laughs> That's so scary! Oh my god, this- I've never had this much fun in Smite before, and I'm 1 in 6. Holy mo- I should- I don't know why I got Aegis. I thought it would be good. The Bracer was definitely the better pickup. So you're just not gonna let me catch up, by the way? <laughs> uh... 
It's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow! Oh, this camera, though. Oh! Ow! Get over here. Oh! <laughs> the pools, man. Okay, you got Telkens right online, though. Dude, I think I got two levels from that. Actually, I don't know. Holy moly. The early game player with the basics. Okay, here's my interpretation so far. His abilities aren't busted. His basics are super busted. His abilities actually aren't that OP. His recall animation is so cool, man. I've never geeked out this much over a god. Yeah, also, if people don't know, if you place a pool and then you emerge in the pool, I believe, it splits them into two pools. Yeah. Yeah, just like what he just But it leaves the third one. Yeah. Well, I wasn't in range of my pool, I guess. Oh. Are you gonna chase me? <laughs> The ultimate though, holy moly. See, I got demonic first. Because, I mean, there's still base protections. I feel like gem vice is a must. Snacky snack. Did you get the waiver clap? No, yeah, I forgot to. Yeah, I forgot to as well. Oh, I thought my pool would kill you. I thought my pool would kill me. How much are you telekinds you? 241? Even on, a, even on a fast attack speed character, telekinds is bad. They need to buff it, man. Obviously, okay, here's my, also, basic attack item should not proc on the base attack. It should be like Fafter ult. However, I don't think they should super nerf the basics and make it the same way as Fafter ult at the same time. They should do one at a time. Otherwise, they're gonna, they're gonna over nerf, nerf them. Oh, I can see you invisible with the sonar uh -oh. pulsing. Uh oh. <laughs> Jorm counters Jorm, I'm pretty sure. It seems like whoever uses their abilities first loses unless you have the pool set up. By the way, I'm only level 12. You were level 12 like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I have to end this game. Oh, you gotta go to work, don't you? Yeah. We can just have six when you gotta go. Either way, I think we I think we showed that this is the coolest God Smite has ever released. Did you get girdle? Yeah. You have been slain. Yeah, you gotta go. Either way, thank you to the <laughs> Fine Pride for helping me showcase this god. I need, I'm need. i gonna main this god. This is gonna be my new god for sure. Um, I'm actually going to, when I upload this on Friday, it's Thursday night right now. When I upload this on Friday, um, I'm gonna be streaming custom games as Jorm against fans or whatever all day. Or most of it's the day. It's Wednesday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so when I upload this on Thursday, today <laughs> is Wednesday night. When I upload this on Thursday, I'm going to be streaming Jorm Customs for most of the day, I assume. So make sure to join there if you want a good time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys.